Golang supports nested if statements. So these are if statements inside if statements. Um, so let's do an example. Let's say we have a variable uh, is student of the type boolean, which got to false. So it would be true if it's a student and false if it's not a student. And we could have um, a variable has work also of the type boolean, uh, which is uh, false or true. And then we can have an if statement in an if statement. So if student and if is has work, then do something in particular. So if you run this code, uh, it complains that it should be an undercase or lowercase. So now we don't see anything. Uh, so both of these conditions have to be true for this code block to be executed. So let's just change that. And now you'll see that the code block is executed because both of the conditions are true. You can do the same thing for numbers. So if you have a variable of the type integer, uh, could do the same thing right if x greater than 3 and if y greater than 3 do something so uh, let's just print something to the screen so in this case let's just run it and there is no output because x is not greater than 3 so it's equal. Uh, to compare, to include inequality, you would add this uh, equality signal or symbol. Uh, but let's just increase the number. So now we have x greater than 3 and y greater than 3. So this should be outputted. So there you go. It's outputted. And you could also, uh, like within this loop or within, within this if statement, it's also uh, outputted. So executed I mean so this condition is true um, if, if we would have this setting this would be executed but this won't be executed because y is not greater than 3 so there you see x is greater than 3 but the second part is not executed because y is not greater than 3 so this basic principle is known as a nested if statement so an if statement in an if statement of course, you can get very, uh, very deep with if statements. You could have three levels deep, or four levels, or five levels. But usually, you want to keep like the the number of if statements within if statements very low because it it can get very uh, confusing. And instead, if you want to add more logic, you would call functions.